How does a reverse mortgage work? Reverse mortgages tend to be a source of confusion for many, as there are quite a few misconceptions about how a reverse mortgage works. Reverse mortgages take the equity that has accumulated over time in an elderly borrower's home and pays it back to them through either installment payments, line of credit, or in a lump sum. Per the CFPB, with a reverse mortgage, you borrow money using your home as a guarantee from the loan, as you would a traditional mortgage. Unlike a traditional mortgage, a reverse mortgage is repaid when the borrower no longer lives in the home. Although you won't make monthly mortgage payments, you'll need to continue to pay property taxes and homeowner's insurance and keep your house in good condition. Because interest and fees are added to the loan balance each month, your loan balance goes up, not down, over time. As your loan balance increases, your home equity decreases. Reverse mortgage borrowers must be age 62 or older. Borrowers usually use the loan to help pay for living expenses. The installments that the elderly borrower receives during the reverse mortgage come from the negative amortization of the loan. The lender of the reverse mortgage will make payments to the borrower based on the built-up equity in the home. Typically, reverse mortgages do not require the borrower to make any payments until the borrower dies, sells the home, or moves out permanently. If the borrower dies, there are a few options regarding how the reverse mortgage may be satisfied. First, the borrower's estate or heirs may sell the home and pay off the reverse mortgage. Next, the borrower's estate or heirs may pay off the reverse mortgage and keep the property. Last, the borrower's estate or heirs may surrender the property to the lender of the reverse mortgage. The borrower's estate or heirs may have up to a year, depending on the lender or note, from the borrower's death to determine how they would like to proceed with the handling of the property. If a borrower already has a traditional mortgage, some of the money that is borrowed from the HECM will be used to pay off the current mortgage. If they owe a lot on their current mortgage, they may not have much or any money from the reverse mortgage left to spend on other things. The benefit would be that they would free up the money they've been paying monthly on their current mortgage to use for other purposes. There is no prohibition to a borrower who would like to sell their home if they have a reverse mortgage. If the borrower's reverse mortgage balance is less than what the home is worth, the sale of the house will work like any other sale of the house. The house will be sold, and the profit will be used to pay off the reverse mortgage. If the balance of the reverse mortgage is more than the value of the borrower's home, the borrower does not have to pay the difference. When the borrower sells their home for the appraised fair market value, mortgage insurance pays the remaining balance of the loan.